Hey there, Andrew Texador, and here you are, I believe it's video four in the home buying process. So we've been pre-qualified. We have had you get with the realtor and build a portal so you can create a custom home search. Excuse me. We've begun looking at homes, and now we're going to say we're, we found a home that you want to buy, and we're talking about creating an offer and what you need. So we, in order to furnish an offer where you need that pre-qualification letter from the lender, and the contract is what we call boilerplate. So most of the contract is already filled, uh, filled out with boilerplate template, right? And then all we are doing is filling in the buyer's name, the seller's name, legal description of a pro property, an offer price, your earnest money, uh, the down payment amount, and the type of financing, and any other uh, any other uh, wants or needs that you request for in the offer price. Like say uh, we're looking for closing costs, a home warranty. Everything that's that that we have to cover is in this contract that we're going to present to a seller or listing agent for them to review and determine if the this offer is strong enough to have you win that uh, that home that you love. Okay, and the reason for earnest money. What is earnest money? Earnest money is good faith money that you're going to put up when you write an offer. Now, realistically you can put a dollar up as earnest money, okay? But realistically, you can't put a dollar up as earnest money, right? So it's strong to use one to 2% of the purchase price to as an earnest deposit, as good faith money, so that they, they you are putting skin in the game right off the bat. Now, earnest money is goes into escrow, and it, goes towards or is applied towards your down payment at close of escrow. In the next video here, we're going to talk about the home inspection process once your offer has been accepted. So thanks for watching this video and, and look for video number five on the home inspection process. We're going to get more in depth here and it gets a little bit more. Uh, this, is, this is where people m are unsure when they get into contract. So we like to go over this stuff up front so that people know what to expect in the whole process so there's no surprises or what's next, okay? Thanks for watching and check in on that next video.